Okay, are we on? Ah, Privet, we're on. Hello. Welcome. Alright, I, ha I had a whole list of things that I planned out that I wanted to talk about because I'm going to try to make this a little bit more interesting for people if they choose to watch this. Um, number one was I wanted to give a shout out to a few channels on YouTube that are very cool and uh, that you should definitely check out if you at all find my interest, uh, my videos interesting. Um, so one is uh, D D Gat Soul is okay. The letter D, okay, that was a that name. Um, okay, so Tex Films, David Courtney, and of course the legend Scott Manley, of course. Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, so the reason I make these videos is. Um, I just kind of have fun, and I know how to do it, so I mean, why not, you know? Um, maybe I'll meet someone cool. I don't know. Uh, not really looking to meet anybody, though, so. Uh, but yeah, I, I re really recommend uh, you guys check those channels out, and um, if you do like my videos, feel free to comment and chat with me or whatever. Uh, even send me an email. Um, the email for this channel is actually um, okay. It's Bastion and Citadel at gmail.com. That's Bastion, like uh, on a tower, a Bastion and Citadel. Let's go ahead and recover that because uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. I um. That's the whole reason I do this, is so other people can see it. Um, but yeah, I really love the fact that I got so many views on the last couple of videos. That was crazy. Also, I wanted to talk about standing up for what's right. Um, I think that um, that's important, and you should practice that in your daily life. I was reading a Jim Morrison quote on uh, standing up for what's right, and uh, and it really, really hit home. He must have been very depressed, I think. I actually entered uh, into Kerbal, so I'm going to go out of Kerbal and get into um, Orbiter, because I was going to do a few shuttle launches. We can go back into Kerbal Space Program, though. It's no, no problem. I want to do a launch into the sunrise, and I'm going to get it. Alright, so my camera, I have to track. And then... That's cool that it has a vertical section. Uh, that's used in um, drilling wells. A lot of times. I used to uh, be a well planner um, back when. Well, back when I was a little younger, I did have a. I did kind of worry about like the environment whenever I was doing that. Like maybe I shouldn't be contributing. But I don't know. This stuff contributes to that too, so.
apoapsis is 56. to cut it. So we're basically taking off and you're looking at Aquarius and Pegasus and Pisces. Aquarius was the name of the lunar module in the Apollo 13 and I love that name. I actually have a drone that I, I might put some of the drone footage on this channel. Um, I don't know what I would put it as. Um, but uh, I named my drone the Aquarius because you have to name your drone something. And uh, yes, I do have the license that you have to get in order to be a drone pilot, a uh, civilian drone pilot, non-commercial. <clears throat> it's actually very simple. Uh, but if you plan to make money on it, uh, then that's another story. Okay. Here we go. There's also an app that, even if you're not a drone pilot, um, there's an app called Before You Fly, and uh, it's an FAA, basically, a map where it's all of the locations. It basically has your map on like a Google map, and then a bunch of circles around you, and those circles are no-fly zones around airports. And um, what's interesting is even a hospital is considered an airport if it has a place for a, a helicopter to land. So most of the hospitals around me, um, I actually live in a very densely populated area. There's a lot of hospitals around here, so there's absolutely no way I can fly, um, even in my backyard, believe it or not. Okay, we'll terminate the uh, spy dump using FES at uh, 2145, and then we'll go back to prime alpha. But sometimes I take it to like X, 15, 20 feet and just fly it around and like practice the maneuvering of it you can get those things going. Like, if you knew how to fly that thing really well, I'm very cautious with it. Um, but dang, those, those things are crazy. Let's go forward. Where's my time to the node? It's 14 seconds. Uh, Comstring checkout, uh, Comstring 1 checkout, part A, uh, we're in step 2, looking for your go.
seconds. Sorry. A cord to the darn camera. It's blocking it. Eleven seconds. there. Okay. So, kill rotation prograde. Oh, no. Retrograde. We're gonna hit the tank! Okay, prograde. Oh no, we're nosing into the tank. <laughs> All right, whatever. We're just going to accelerate through the tank. Ah, interesting. Oh, no! Oh, man. Oh, let's go ahead and throw her into orbit. Delta glider, it's really simple. Ooh, Cetus. The whale. The fish. Let's see how much we're going to get out of this. is still negative almost 900 kilometers. And we're at our apoapsis right now. Kill rotation. here anymore. Naga, unfortunately. Oh, let me let me do uh, one of these real quick. These are fun. Uh, let's do the uh, Zvedzva. 
Whatever that is. <laughs> oh no, this is the one that's lying down. Can't really launch it when it's this way. Okay. Nice. Gonna go ahead and track ourselves. Now what's funny is this thing has uh, like Russian letters on it, but it's all like American people on the radio. Altitude. Okay, everything is good. So let's go ahead and bring up the map. So we're over Kazakhstan. Oh no, 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 no. Hello, 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 prograde. Oh, there we go. This is horrible. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just hit pro prograde. Okay. Goodbye, first stage. Where is prograde? It's wanting to take over manual control. think. Kill the rotation. Okay. Why is it pulling so hard to the right? function going on. This thing went haywire on me. There's a major malfunction. Oh, there goes the fairing.
no. This is not working. This is not working. Let's go ahead and kill it. And go back to the shuttle. That was almost a perfect launch. Maybe I just need to go a little bit higher. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. Not two things on the same side. Let's do um, sync. Or no, no, we're not trying to sync our orbit with anything. Um, no, not that either. Let's just do map. Track it. Nice. Um, so, another thing that I was interested in, I, I saw this really good TED talk, um, and then there was this guy in there, he, he looked like a pretty young guy, and um, he was working on uh, these ways of basically making your backyard or whatever your um, your front yard or if you have like I don't know like an area of your house that has a lot of uh, outdoor space and you don't know what to do with it um, instead of planting like a garden um, it's like basically you're you're going to, you're trying to basically reforest it to the way that the natural environment is in your local area whatever that may be, um, in order to attract birds and uh, butterflies and all sorts of, um, well, not necessarily butterflies, because butterflies aren't in all areas, but um, okay, like I'm local birds, um, and just preserving the way that the, um, the way that, wow, my apoapsis is crazy, the way that the natural environment would have your local area and it's very pretty the way that uh, he was able to uh, to do this and to where you could actually do reforestation with this is um, the land only needs um, a little bit extra extra attention in its first two or three years um, and then after that it's basically self-sustaining uh, you know nothing will uh, you don't have to water it you don't have to you know anything like that I forget the name of the guy, but it was a great TED series. Hey, so we, targets, uh, we have a um, go for GPS incorporation. Worried about this uh, program. Okay, we'll load. I want to have a low altitude burnout.
come for a low altitude burnout. again um what can i do differently i have to really just stay with my pro grade to be honest about to lose those solid rocket boosters. I think this is the way to do it. Hold your fingers crossed. There they go. Incorporated. 
operation. Okay, we'll load. 66, maybe 67. I want that to, a bit, to be about 200. Checkout, uh, Comstring 1, Checkout Part A. 173.5 uh, kilometers. So let's fire it back up at about 162. There we go.
Okay, we'll terminate the uh, spy dump using test at uh, 2145, and then we'll go back to Pry Alpha. Thanks, 2245. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Difficult. My gosh. I'm already at 20 degrees up. Not. Nope. Fortunately, not. That won't do it. That will not do it.
even further. There you go. And then if I do translation. roll time forward to about right here
it on that line. Really. do that. I'll get it messed up. Just not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Ugh. That was so bad. So bad. I cannot believe I just did that. That's what a low altitude burnout looks like. Yes. That's not how it's supposed to look.
Meg, you said we were running a little bit above our uh, nominal water pretext. How are we doing on our cryo usage? Okay, great, thanks. You are clear to land. Alright, that one wasn't going to work either.
I said I, I didn't say I think we're gonna make it into orbit this time. That was a horrible delivery on that. You know, I hate my phone. But sometimes I wish I could just uh, turn it off and not even have to worry about it. Get it on airplane mode. It's that um, 
fast forward of time feature, it is crazy in orbit. If you mess with that, you will crash, crash, crash. translation thrusters should be burning. Yeah, there they are. Little tiny guys. Mm. I don't want my apoapsis to be on the night side rather than both be on day and night. Kind of side like that. But yeah, we're definitely in orbit for sure, and a high one at that. Very good. Now, if we can land at the Cape, or no, let's land in California. Let's see if we can do that. Oh my goodness. So it's nighttime, basically. Yeah, so that's awesome. I guess what I'll do is I'll just uh, save it. So, save and exit. And now let's bring up KSP. Because I'm definitely in a KSP mode now. After all of that hassle getting up into orbit. That was crazy. I cannot believe that those space shuttle pilots had that little... I mean, because I think that the Delta V and all that is the same. It's just, you know, obviously they were working with a completely real thing versus a computer simulation. But, like, they basically had similar, you know, Delta V requirements and masses and stuff in this game. That is just incredibly hard to get to orbit. Crazy, crazy, crazy.
So and there's me talking talking away on the uh live. There's only about a fifteen second delay, I think, or maybe a twenty second delay. Um Let's see, what's another great YouTube channel uh, for space? Uh, I think there's one called Space Videos. There's another one called Every Elon Musk Video. And it's basically every time Elon Musk goes in front of anybody and does a talk, like somehow they get the recording of that, which is awesome. He's, he's a really cool guy. So quiet and soft-spoken, though. It's funny. You would think that someone that, you know, Richard Branson, I, you know, comes to mind. You know, you would think that it'd be a big personality. Um, let's do the clean slate. I had to do a clean slate. There was just too much stuff in orbit. I was worried I was going to maybe start having collisions. There were definitely things that would fly by, like as you're coming into orbit, or you know, there's something that would just fly by you. Um, go ahead and warp. I built this really cool Soyuz, and that will be fitting with the uh, with the um, thumbnail on the video. Uh, and so the Soyuz. I think it's Soyuz 1.2. Yeah. And the trick is with this thing, you have to um, we're just gonna have a pilot and uh, one scientist in the lander can. You have to fly it um, with the fairing attached because if you deploy that fairing, you don't have any stability whatsoever. That thing shakes. It has a wet noodle syndrome. Oh, huh, interesting. Never knew that that was part of it. Q. And right after Max Q, we go into the gravity turn. The other thing about this is when you do that, there's an explosion. Oh, but we didn't lose anything. Let's try this one more time. Because we need to rescue, um, I think it's Valentina, she's stuck in orbit. Uh, so what I'm going to do is let's do this. Let's have it fire up. And then when those launch, those launch. And
Yeah, let's do this. This is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna have the Soyuz be like a, a hybrid Falcon 9 that instead of landing on back on the surface of the earth it lands on the moon. Uh, so all it needs really are rockets up here. Uh, little engines. Yeah, that would be such a cool design. I have a really crazy cool design in mind. Uh, these things. And I'll probably need more than just four. I'll need... Not that many, though. Yeah, six. Alright, and then this down here... Get some landing struts. There we go. Then the trick is getting it back from the moon, though. <laughs> Maybe have another base on the moon where they can use them. Okay, I think that should be enough right there. So where are these mistakenly put? This one goes right here. Oh yeah, I see how it is. <clears throat> Hopefully that doesn't bust the, uh, that explosion's going to be crazy. What if I do this? What if right when those things go off, I have little tiny engines little Werner engines or something no that's not gonna work I think the way I had it is the only way to do it Okay, yeah. <sighs> Everything's too high at the top now that I did that. Okay, here we go.
Alright, throttle back. Okay. Why is... Uh, I see. All right, on our way up. That would be cool if the f they built a Falcon 9 that had the first stage lands on Earth, the second stage lands on the moon, and then third stage goes off to another planet. That's That would be so easy, you would just have to time it when the moon is basically on the horizon of your orbit, which only happens at half moons. It's a half moon thing. We are almost doing pretty well. Let's see, that is 54. I think it to be a little higher than that. Thirty six seconds till the node. Okay, yeah, we're definitely gonna need to do this now. Do this right now. Okay, get that out of here. Alright, so 121 by 37.
I guess it needed a little bit more fuel, but that's okay, we can use the cheat. I still want this to work. Okay, so now we wait till the moon is on the horizon of the, the planetary horizon, which it is, for us to go to Venus. Problem is Venus already passed. Now the moon might be on the horizon for a Mars trip pretty soon. So let's go ahead and fast forward to that point. Ah, uh, I'm forgetting my controls here. Yes. about right there. Let's go here. Where is the moon? Probably should have checked on that. Okay, not in a good spot. What we'll do is go to the tracking station. Wait till the moon. It's right there. Okay, let's quick save it. Oh, we can't quick save at the tracking station. <laughs> okay, quick save. And... Ah, no. Oh yeah, that's okay. If I go this way... Yeah, that might work. And if I go here... Focus view... So, okay, actually, let's go to the tracking station. I want to do this again. This isn't going to work if I do it like that. So, we'll wait one more go around. Till the moon. The moon. Going just a little further. About right there.
There we go, right in the center. This is the no new Soyuz. I guess it could have been the new Falcon uh, 14, too. But, whatever. Second stage that lands on the moon. Someone should Elon uh, should tell Elon Musk about that. Bet they, I bet they've already looked into it. Won't work. Will not work. Actually, if we fire up these four engines... Oh, and I just quick saved it. That's what happens when you go from orbiter to, um... To, uh... What's it called? And yeah, if I load it, yeah, here we are. What's our orbit look like? Well, that's not that bad. We can be saved. Um. Wow. Don't I feel dumb? <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to the space center once again. That rocket is dangerous. It is so dangerous. Alright, how are we looking on the tracking? Okay. That was an old one. It's not the same one. But we can use it as an example. Maybe? Let's fly it just to make sure some stars didn't align and a glitch happened and somehow... Yeah, okay. That's right, okay. I am being fooled. <laughs> being made a fool of. Let's go one more time around. Okay. Now's the right time to do it. Is there anything else I need before I launch this thing? I think... Therefore I am. Okay, let's go ahead and launch it, put a c couple of uh, brave souls in there. Let's get a pilot.
that should give it the extra boost it needs. Too premature. Right at 74 kilometers. Okay. Whoa. Hello. Getting a little wobbly. <laughs> Dipping back into the atmosphere a little bit. Shouldn't be a problem though. Okay, 62 by 67. Let's go ahead and radial out this thing a little bit. Bring that perigee underneath me. That's better. So then we say towards the moon. Is 
I say go here. Actually, now's not a bad time. Yeah, let's go ahead and fire it up. No. Let's not. We'll fire it up on the next go around. It's on the horizon teasing me. have to keep that fairing on, otherwise everything just goes really bad. Um, let's go ahead and set the moon as a target. And then I want to do a correction burn. Alright. Oh well, let's just go go for it. We're going to have a huge gravity assist from Earth, too. We're at a very low orbit. Well, not a huge gravity assist as opposed to any other assist from Earth. Low Earth orbit. And that is right before the line. Yeah, more like that. Okay. Let's F5 that. And if I blow up, don't hit F5 right after I blow up. That was the lesson learned from last mission. See that thing fly by? There's another thing in orbit. So now what I'm going to do is go anti-normal. And then prograde. Normal. X. Radial in. That's what I was looking for. Good old radial in to the rescue.
And let's land it right on the just day side. That way the shadows will be long and you'll be able to really judge how fast you're coming in. Okay, if I hit prograde once more. Okay. Save it. Okay. Alright, now what we're going to do is let's go ahead and jettison that. Ah, darn. We lost our probe. Oh well. What if we do this? What if we say deploy, and then I want this one, and this one, and this one, there we go, and then finally, this one. Yay, everything's intact. How are my batteries looking? Not good. We're going to say infinite electricity. Just so we can nail the lamp. So as for the other vehicle, we're going to go ahead and get away, get out into deep space. So what we're going to do is say, prograde, and... Okay, so we're going to come back around, let's go ahead and switch one more time, and we're going to work on landing this thing on the moon. All right, we're going to go ahead and do one correction burn toward the 180. And 
should get me on the daytime side. Okay, we're here. It was successful. Hopefully. Yep. Very nicely done. Ready for pickup. You just gotta make your way out here. Kinda far off. Wait, switch to. Okay. So now we make our one lunar trip before we go on our interplanetary trip. That way we can get a good sense of whether everything is working. Come back around. Where is our parage? Oh, we're going to hit the Earth. Okay, so... skim the atmosphere. Yep. Okay, let's see. How are we doing over here? Very good. Ok. 
Okay. That should be good for right now. Okay. Oops, that's okay. one. Soyuz has almost reached the end of this this third stage. Might have to in, engage the old cheat once again.
he were really on a space ship, though, he wouldn't have a picture of the planet. I think he would maybe have a picture of the a part of the planet. You know, like a forest or something. Or a beach. Maybe a picture of one of your family members. But it's just a video game, so... Who am I kidding? Almost there. Sorry, this was such a long burn. It was that darn noon rendezvous. I've been on the way out, though, you know, of the... of, uh... <clears throat> of Kerbin, you know, doing a, a burn to get out of the Kerbin influence, and I've had really close encounters with the moon. It would be so cool if I could get that to work, maybe just a little bit better. Alright. Just a little bit more. There it goes. Close approach with the Earth. Not supposed to happen. There we go. Okay, we're about three quarters of the way there. So let's go ahead and do our correction. Gets this way, yeah. Okay, bring it directly underneath. So we're having another close encounter. Speak of the devil. With this moon right here. I think that's Ike. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and F5. We're going to do our last... <laughs> engine startup. Hello. Hello. Oh, 
What is this one? Oh, there we go. Just had to take it a few seconds. Uh, and we want to do radial out. We don't have to do infinite fuel, infinite electricity. I think this thing has enough. Yeah, got plenty. Kind of takes it a little while to get that burn. But it's very efficient. We're going to do an extreme close approach. directly in the sun. Dang, and our electric charge is still going down. Wake up, a little Susie, wake up. Dun dun dun, ba da bow. Yeah, DGAT Soul is has some great uh, stuff, and so does Tex Films, David Courtney, Scott Manley. Hello, and welcome to another adventure. Hello, this is Scott Manley. Scott Manley. He's very manly. His name is Scott. He's got some great videos. I mean, I basically learned how to play this uh, this game watching him. And he's a good guy. He seems to be like a really good father and just a stand-up guy. What can I say? All right. I'd like to maybe use the atmosphere to slow us down too. If at all possible. Atmosphere is really quite thin. Maybe 15. Let's save it there. Warp to about right here. that might be too much but she likes to run a little hot nope nope I underestimated Mars or uh, Duna okay, let's go out a little further Okay, about right there. Still too much. Goes the first one. It goes the second one, the third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one. There goes the xenon canisters. There goes the batteries. There goes the upper. There goes everyone in this mission. Did 
darn. Right, let's get a little further out. Twenty seven kilometers. Oops. Twenty eight kilometers. trick is we want the atmosphere to slow us down but then we want to be able to exit the atmosphere and adjust our orbit to where we don't enter the atmosphere on the second go around and we are toast we will figure out where is a good spot let's go for 38 Okay Save it Yeah, this should be perfect. Let's watch that orbit correct itself, hopefully. Oop, that was not enough. It's gonna be enough. Oop. We have to be a little closer, actually. Thirty-three. This is good uh, data points. So if I'm coming in from Kerbin, I mean this is not a typical speed though necessarily, but it's about. Yeah, 28, 2.8 kilometers per second for Duna. It's about right, coming from Kerbin. I think we've lost uh, both of our solar panels no matter what we do there's there's no line between exploding the vehicle and slowing down enough so 
what I'll do with this thing is we're just gonna let it let it pass by a little bit higher and then uh, just do a burn. That's probably the best way to do it. So 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. I think 50 is the very top of the atmosphere. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll just skim the top, do our burn, go on our... Okay. Bring it out a little bit further. Okay. Oh no. All that work for nothing. We can do it. We can definitely do it. Um, why is my electric charge not recharging? Oh, it's just going really slow. Let's go ahead and do the infinite electricity. wait for that to charge for a second. The burn is in... Very good. Yeah, but it's a 48 minute burn. So I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> It's just not powerful enough, unfortunately. But uh, thank you for watching this, and I'll go ahead and save this guy at a future date. As always, um, thank you for watching this, and uh, catch you next time.